What is up legends? Welcome back to another video and welcome Josh on the channel. Today, a bit different. We are going to be touring, I was going to say a yacht, but this is a super mega yacht. This is uh, getting into the mega yacht realm. Yes, absolutely. We have a little model here. Welcome to Laurel. Laurel. Um, you've been working on Laurel for a, a while now. A year and a half now. A yeah. year and a half. Yeah. And you're going to show us around this amazing vessel. I'm very new to this world, <laughs> so all the terms uh, I'm not too used to, but we're going to try and keep this a very natural video. We're here at the Monaco Yacht Show um, and we're just going to have a little look around. You're going to show us all around. So what's the story behind Laurel? What okay. year? So Laurel was built in 2006 by Delta in Seattle. Uh, at the time of the build, it was the biggest ever private yacht built in North America. Uh, so 2006 is the year of the build. Uh, Okay, sorry guys, there may be a few cuts every once in a while. We're not the only people on the boat and we want to keep it so that there's you know, not too many people in the background. But yeah, I mean, fascinating vessel. And uh, this may be a very long video. So big, there's a lot to see. There is a lot to see, absolutely. Back to the boat. It's uh, built in 2006 by Delta Marine in Seattle. It's 1,595 tons. So a little bit heavier than the stuff we yeah, use yeah. on the channel. <laughs> yeah, uh, a lot. We are here. The back here in the so main we're down deck here. Aft. Yeah, okay. so we're just inside these windows. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. It's I got actually you. quite nice to have this boat and you can sort of see. So we're going to start here. We're going to go down. When we go downstairs, we'll actually be under the water. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, after, then you can go down again, your feet will be under the water. But, and we're, uh, we're in, this is like a big living room, right? This is this is the uh, the main salon, is okay. the terminology here. Main uh, salon, okay. Main salon. So you have main deck, bridge deck, and sun deck. Okay. And below us we have the tank deck. Okay. okay. Can I can I sit? Try, do. Can I try this out? This is the, like the nicest armchair I think. Oh, it swivels! Yeah, so Oops. it swivels and then the painting here slides down and you can watch your watch your films in the This evening. is a TV? Yeah, it's a TV behind uh, it. This we have is quite like a few of those around. Proper there. James yeah. Bond stuff. It's all op operated by the iPad okay. and then you can do lighting, music, AC, yeah, 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 yeah. that sort of stuff. Awesome. All right, so where do we head to next? So we following can you. Come through here, and we're going to go into our formal dining area. Wow. Uh, we can extend the table and we can sit up to 16 people here. So. This is, this is one of the biggest and fanciest dining tables I've ever seen, it's let alone being on a, on a boat in a house. Yeah, well, through here we have a main deck pantry and okay. the formal galley. So right. that is where the girls would come in and do service with sliding doors and come out with velvet gloves, so Very it nice. can be all, all as formal or as unformal as you like. There is a feature which is not on now, there I think. A feature. I, let me ask one of the girls so they can turn it off. Uh, so the Drum story roll. behind it is, it was the constellation, thank you, it takes a little while to warm up. Um, yeah. There, there we go. you go. This was the constellation above the hospital that the night the original owner's daughter was born. Wow, so, unbelievable. I mean, the attention to detail. It is pretty spectacular. And it really feels like we're, we're, I mean, in a build, to think that we're on a boat right yeah, now. Exactly, yeah, you definitely get lost, uh, and especially when you go downstairs. I mean, apart from looking out a window, you yeah. would think you're in a hotel, really. And, and uh, the windows are huge. This is yeah. the other thing, so lots of natural light coming in. Do you know these two middle windows actually slide up? They're the only windows in the whole boat where it actually opens. So you can have some air, you air, can have some air. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. I'm going to okay. follow you. So we come through here. Into these are the sliding doors. Foyer, and we have a staircase going up, down, and then that is an elevator through there. So that takes you to four different levels. An elevator yeah. on a boat. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. So we're coming in here now. So we come in, we, you can call this the master apartment if you like. So okay. you could close that door and then in the morning you could make yourself tea or coffee by yourself without the assistance of stewardesses. Right. This is where typically the owner would sort of do business meetings or do his paperwork out here at the office and... Wow, what an office. Out in, uh, in Monaco or the Bahamas this is how, this is or the how you, you funded or the Amalfi Coast or... Yeah, this is where, where the magic happens. Yeah. We well, this is, where the, where, this is where the, this the magic happens. This is the happens. real magic, yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is the master cabin. This so is not the room master. on boats, it's cabin. Exactly, cabin, yeah. No one says bedroom. Uh, yeah, it's always yeah, a yeah. cabin. So this is the master suite and great feature about this boat. Okay, so the lighting's probably going to be a little tricky to manage here. I don't know if you're... But look at this. You have a full balcony terrace. This is huge. It is massive, yeah. Wow. So that was one of the... 
USPs of this boat and a big difficulty when they originally built it they went to a yard in Holland fed ship which yep. is is the Rolls Royce okay. of, of yachts and they wouldn't they wouldn't agree to build in these territories so there was a legal thing and the boss ended up taking it to Delta in Seattle who was able to build they said yes no problem and you say these terraces because there's an an identical one on the other side there is yes but wow. what's the, the the nice thing about the door is you don't have the vortex of air coming in back and forth okay. especially when you're under, underway you wouldn't want that but a lot of these terraces would usually be sort of pop out oh but they when fold you get down that, yeah. they come out you get that sort of vacuum coming in and Okay, it's so these are like proper, yeah, it's proper just, terraces. It's just a door. So wow. On both sides. And so you can... You can peer into the couple next door in, in yeah. the next room. Your husband and wife could each have their own terrace. Exactly. Quite. If needed. If you need that little moment of, of well. privacy. Wow. Unbelievable. The headroom that you've got. I mean, I'm not the tallest. Me neither. But, um, okay, so... So you come in here and we have his and hers walk-in wardrobes. Wow. And so when the guests come in initially, and we pick them up from the airport, we'll all take the suitcases in and the girls will actually unpack the suitcases. So the first time a guest okay. comes in here, all their clothes will be laid out. Already ready. Automated, ready to rock and roll. Awesome. And through here, we have his and hers this sinks. This is insane. You have, to look, you have to see this. With shower and bathroom in there. Oh yeah. Right. So. With the gold door handles. Gold door handles. Full Italian marble, oh, almost on every yeah. service actually. I mean, this as a as a bathroom or heads. Is this? Would you call this a head? You could call it a head, but a bathroom is also acceptable. Okay. Yeah. Um, look at all the gold and marble. It's just the best finish. Everything is like everything solid. It in is quality. solid. Yeah. Um, I think the original list price of the boat was 130 million dollars, and a big part of that is internal fixtures. 130 million. It's uh, it's a lot. Wow. Outrageous. So then you've got yeah another yeah of course Again, another closet another another walk-in wardrobe on this side. Uh, this this wardrobe bathroom section mm. is a decent sized studio apartment. Absolutely. Very nice yeah. studio apartment. But this is just, Monica, yeah exactly. <laughs> Anyways, and we've only just begun, guys. We've only just begun. All right, so now we're going down. We're from we're on main deck now. We're going to head now to tank deck. So okay. we're going to go down below the waterline, be underwater. This is cool. This beautiful staircase was made by a Seattle artist called Dale Chihuly. I've actually been to his, uh, his gallery in the States. It's quite fabulous. All handmade nice. blown glass. Oh, awesome. So this, this is, is the lowest the elevator goes of the four floors. Okay. <gasps> and now we have here... The, this deck. is incredible. Incredible. It's pretty, uh, yeah, that, that uninterrupted cord is quite a rare feature on a boat on, of any size, actually. So, oh my god, I mean, having, you, I do not, I know I keep saying it, but I can't believe I'm in a boat. I, well, I, when you when you live here, this is my house, I mean, yeah, you, yeah. you get used to yeah, anything, yeah. but you're, you're right, it is quite spectacular. So, so how many um, cabins do we have here then? Down here we have six. Wow. Six cabins down here. Yeah, so, yeah. So, we can come and have a look. So we have four of this size with the king beds. I mean, this is an, a beautiful cabin. It is beautiful. Yeah, and it's this is uh, one sort of the old, guests. old world, old world. Um, yeah. I think the the lighter the, the colours help sort of yeah, yeah. elevate it. And I like the kind of more classic style. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you French around. blue. <laughs> yeah, blue exactly. More. And then, so everyone has their own. En suite. And it's always double sinks in each in each bathroom. Okay, have a look in there. Oh, oh, so it's backlit behind the mirrors. Yeah. Oh, that is awesome. I'm mind blown right now. So this is one of the six. This You've is even one got of a little desk. Yeah. And that pops up. And it's a little variety of thin mirror in there and lots of stuff. So. so I mean, you can go. They're, oh yeah, they're always. Oh, these are even there's, bigger. So if you go, if you look from room to room, you'll see how there's, I mean, the beds are different colors and the artwork's slightly different, but the, st the stone in the bathroom is what sort of sets each cabin apart. But yeah. these four, all very similar. Wow. Okay, so four cabins. So four cabins down here. We have a sort of 
Again, tea and coffee making facilities where the guests want to do it themselves in the morning. And then we come through here and this is another apartment. So you could close this door and then you could have super newbies here. So you could have nannies, martial therapists, bodyguards, if that's your... Or your mother-in-law if you don't get along well. Oh yeah, <laughs> stick her in there and close the door. Okay, oh wow, there are many beds here. So this cabin is often used for children, so we have a Pullman here that actually pulls but this down comes, from you'll the wall. You'll probably have so to come over here to see this. Kids. This, is, this is us learning, because we're so used to filming cars. I know, mate. This is so Valentin really behind the cameras for the first time on a boat of, I mean, me too, to be honest, it's on a boat of this size. Lots it's, of angles and places too. Um, so this comes down, this is another bed. This pulls down, then you could sort of have a bunk bed set up then. Or you could have uh, your staff in here, if you so yeah. wish. And, like I said, you know, each bathroom is different and wow, certainly bigger than my bathroom at home. Just yeah, this one me too. The, and just nicer with all the marble and everything. I think there's something silly, like there must be 30 bathrooms on the boat. There must be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, there's 12 crew cabins. Oh, yes. And there's seven guests. Because you're 24 crew. 24 then. crew full time. Wow. So I mean, if someone tells me they've got a company, for example, with 24 employees, yeah. I'd be like, that, wow, that is impressive. But this is this a company is of that size just to manage your book. Full-time, 365 days a year. This is Insane. our home, so it's always, always... Thanks always. for letting us into your house. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, I mean, 7, 12, 19, 20, 21, 22... I yeah, Counting I the bathrooms. 23 bathrooms. This is outrageous. <laughs> This is our, I was not expecting to see this. our suite. We've got a massage room. Massage room. We have a full-time massage therapist on board. Uh, so the guests usually book themselves in for any one of the massages we offer Incredible. and uh, nice relaxing experiences. Oh, you've got a bathroom Another in there. Another bath in there. That actually has a bath on board. Oh, so wow. You could yeah. have a bath on your yacht if you so desire. This is, this is next level. Uh, it's like behind every door, there's a little surprise. Uh, this is, so this is to crew. So that's the crew area. We can do a little crew tour later on. Yeah, like, and we perfect. Can continue yeah, interesting to see the behind the scenes. Yeah. Okay, we're just going to walk down this unbelievably long corridor. After okay. you. So we're going to go now. We've come from tank deck to main deck. Now we're going to go up to bridge deck. It just keeps going. There's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bath down Ooh, there. Oh, let's look. On let's the starboard look. side. Please. Oh, this is the, yeah, red marble. Red marble, red Italian marble. Look at this, just it's for isn't it? what I believe is called a day head, right? Exactly. So this is for your guests that aren't staying on board. Well, if you're having a drink and you just yeah. want to nip the toilet instead of going down your cabin, making all that effort, then you could just use that. So we have in here our library. Oh, and the, the, our voices just changed. The, the sound deadening, yeah. yeah. So there's sound deadening material behind these, uh, calfskin leather walls. Wow. And so you could sit in here, turn the music down and relax. So this is a library. This is the library. You just sit here, exactly. read your book. Yeah. Sit here, read your book. Incredible. It's everything is, I mean, everything you touch is of the, um, and I love these swivel. Well, we have another television. Oh, that's a TV as well. Behind the painting, yeah, that slides down. We often, this is where the kids come and, uh, come and mess things up in here. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. Right, there's, there's still quite a bit left, I think. There's still quite a bit left. Into the foyer area and yeah. into our bridge deck salon. Oh, this is very bright in here. I think the, the light is a, is a real, real bonus in here. Uh, this is where the children usually eat in the daytime yeah. and they can sit around and sort of guess, relax here. Another television. Another TV. The, the hidden TVs are Dufina. awesome. They yeah. awesome aren't they? Oh, this, is, this is fantastic. And this is where the girls do service from. So this is known as the Bridge Deck Pantry. One wow. of the few pantries have on the board. The size so of this. In the evening, this is where you see all the girls doing the washing up and making cocktails and okay. preparing wine. And, and so this is so that they can just pop out of here and be straight. So there's a button here and you kick it with your foot and then the door will pop open and then out you'd come with your plate. Insane. And then I assume this is probably one of the areas that gets used the most down here. Absolutely, this is, called this is, this is the bridge deck aft. And that, that's cool, the button to open the door. So this is definitely the most used, oh, we're bugging up. 
most used area on the boat. Uh, this is where guests will have a lot of meals. So breakfast, Huge lunch, table. Be served here. We would set these out as um, sort of buffet. Okay. So guests can we move the furniture around, and then guests could do full breakfast setup, tea and coffee station at the end, juices, smoothies, wow. and then. While you're out in the get, Caribbean. While you're out in the Caribbean, Caribbean, get ready for a jet ski session. Yeah. Right. Is that a barbecue in the corner? This is a barbecue, yes. Good eye, by behind this crane. The crane, massive crane here. This is a crane? That's a crane, so that elevates up and out. And then we can lift one of the tenders, which I'll show you guys later on, onto the sun deck and take it on and off. Right, because, yeah, as you do, <laughs> naturally. <laughs> okay. So now we're doing more of the, are we going back indoors? We'll go okay. back indoors and I'll take you up onto the sun deck and then we can do some outdoor, outdoor stuff. Perfect. Wow. So now we come up to the top deck and there's the sun deck. This okay. beautiful staircase. We come through here. It's the last destination. The <laughs> elevator. <laughs> Keep bumping into this elevator. And we come through into my favorite room on the boat, the observation lounge. Observation lounge. So okay. you could sit here and the boss likes to play his cards here or play a bit of chess yeah. with his friends. Sit in the morning with a coffee and watch the World Cup. And fight. here you have the view over, right now, the very busy Monaco port, but it's you could be anywhere. Extremely busy Monaco port. Yeah. And this opens up again. Wow. It's very gadgety. I love the hidden doors, the, the everything is high tech. Oh, you can... Uh, you don't say drive, do you? You say you... You could drive, you could say yeah. Drive, drive yeah? yeah. So okay. this is our helm on the sun deck, and the captain can do a lot of stuff up here. So you could drive, and if you were somewhere really shallow and you wanted to spot the rocks, you could yeah. give yourself a better view and do that from up here. Okay, awesome. Very cool. So, and there's a bar? Because there's a bar. This is where guests would sit in the evening for canapes. Champagne's an o champagne and oyster is often the... The, uh, the way to go? The way to go up here. Yeah. Oh, I, I believe it. Here and we have Tables. these awnings up and they have shade, so get away from all the, all the hot sun. It's, this is just... It's never ending. Is there a knee falling over there? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Okay, so now, now, now where do we go? Is there... We're going to come around and onto the Sunday car. Okay, let's do it. Right, let me... See. So one, one thing which... We have another day oh, hanging yeah? here that the guests okay. can use if they're just running around on the sun deck. Yeah, if ever you need it. There's, behind every door there's something. And here is a dumb waiter. So if the girls want to send up cocktails or plated food instead of having to carry it up the stairs, they can send it in here and that goes down to... So it's like an elevator for food. Exactly. Wow. Uh, that goes to five different decks. Okay, awesome. And you know, the, the boat that I've been on in the past, mm. when you're walking from the front to the back, you're kind of hanging on because the water's right there. And exactly. Whereas here... You could, you oh. could, you could, uh, you could roll down if you yeah. want, please. Yeah, easy. Okay, so, okay. Yes. This is IYC Yacht. You'll see uh, in, in the hot tub, they've conveniently placed their Instagram handle. Thank you to them for organizing the tour of, of Laurel. Um, this hot is tub? The jacuzzi, yes. This is a nice place for a, a large bottle of rosé, I think. Absolutely. Doesn't get much better than this. So you'll find the guests will often sometimes come back from dinner and, uh, and use the jacuzzi in the evening. This is yeah. epic. So we have a huge our, space here to lounge out. Yeah, the Sunday craft. Uh, we have sun lounges here, but sometimes can be used as a yoga studio. But my okay. favorite thing to do up here is play golf. So mm. we have a tea and we have wooden balls, and we have balls made out of uh, biodegradable material with fish food inside. Oh. So the guests can tee off from the sun deck and then uh, that don't have to worry about awesome. getting balls. Okay, yeah. It's the kind of thing that I would never have thought about before, playing golf on your... The gentlemen ah. always get pretty excited uh, when I tell I can them imagine. Golf, yeah. This is a shower. Can I, yeah. This is so random. I did not expect to see a shower here. Awesome. So if you come out of your hot tub, you feel like you need a shower. Exactly. Wow, well, there's a weird sound effect in here as well. Yeah, there is. Okay. So we can come through and I can show you the gym upstairs. The gym? Look at this. This is outrageous. So look, you can be doing your sport as you look out over your jacuzzi, your sweat friend out. playing golf. And sweat out the night before. I think yeah, yeah. Sure. Exactly. It's probably what you're doing, yeah. Awesome. 
Very, very cool. Okay, so th we're now kind of in the deep deck belly. Yeah, this of the is boat. known as the tank deck. So yeah. here we are down in the lazarette, also known as the swim platform or the beach club. Okay. So this would fold down. Unfortunately, as we're stern to on the dock, we don't have enough room to do that okay. at the moment. But we'd have railings to pull out and they go all these holes. And then this is where, say, we're taking guests ashore to restaurants and whatnot. That's where the tenders would stop. Okay. And guests can board on and off from there. Awesome. And we'd have jet skis and all that sort of stuff. So I'll show you. It's, it's insane. I can see a few things through there, which well, are exciting. You're coming oh, wow. here and this is our dive store. So we have two dive instructors on the boat. Uh, diving is a big part of our program. Uh, so when mm -hmm. you come and join us for a week in the Bahamas, then uh, we can really explore that. Yeah, so oh, we well, have a, any time, you let me know. <laughs> we have a dive compressor on the boat, so we fill up all our tanks on board. Okay, awesome. So yeah, if you're, if you're into your diving, this now is this, this is the area that I think a lot of you are gonna enjoy. So we come down here now and we're in the tender garage. So these two doors, they open up like wings. Oh, on the side, okay, yeah. And they're actually so heavy that if only one door is open, you can see the whole boat slightly lifts. Wow. And, this and is so this is the garage. This is like the boys' toys. This is the boys' toys. This is, this is where the, the fun happens. So what do we have here? We've got fishing rods. We have massive fish rods. We have two fishing pros on the boat and they like to catch. Uh, when we cross the Atlantic soon, they'll be uh, fishing for tuna and oh, wow. marlin and sailfish. And oh, wow. And okay. Stuff. These look fancy. We have two jet skis here, which uh, Yamaha thought would be funny to write. So they're called EX Deluxe is the model, but they've uh, got on a cheeky... They've, uh, they've added an S. So look, come see what it looks like here. There you go. Sex Deluxe. You know? <laughs> it's the uh, Sex Deluxe jet ski. <laughs> <laughs> and then, okay, so three... Three tenders. tenders. This is our 15, so they're all in size of feet. 22, 15, 25. Wow. So our 15, this is the one I told you that goes on the sun deck. So this is a rescue tender. So when we okay. sail the Atlantic next week. So this is This is our big. 22 <laughs> foot tender. This is our water sports tender. We have a towing mount on the back here. So if you look up there, you'll see wakeboards, water skis and all sorts okay. of stuff. I mean, even here, there's canoe, stand up paddle board. Canoes, kayaks, stand up paddle boards. These are fun. These are our e-foils. So you have your remote here. You start off on your belly, you pop up and then the hydrofoil come out of the water and you can do all sorts of fun tricks. Insane. Or injure, injure yourself. Yeah. Uh, severely. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is our biggest tender here. It's our 25 foot tender. This is the guest tender. So, so when you're going to pick up guests at the beach. Yeah, and the awning pops up and it's actually got a really good sound system. So I always uh, like to play the guest in music. See, this is the kind of boat I'm used, to, not used to, because I haven't been that much on them, but that if I go on a boat, it's this kind of thing. Yeah. And this is, in the garage. There's three boats in this boat. Yeah. yeah, insane. Up here we have a slide. So we have a slide that comes off the bridge of aft and is absolutely gigantic. And uh, if and you go down belly first, you can front flip off the end. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah, that slide must weigh you know, 250 kilos. Like it's going to get a bit loud here, guys. So here we have the engine room. This is. Crazy. Watch your head, Valentin here. He gets a bit low. The engine room. This is this is where the real magic. Ha oh my God. After you, please. Yeah, let's let's do it. You can stay up there, Valentin, and film us down here in our engine room. It's a room, isn't it? It is. It is a room. It's warm in this room as well. It is warm. Yeah. So the engines, if you feel them, they're constantly they kept warm all oh, the yes. time. So those blockages to keep them warm the whole time. So these are twin Caterpillar V16s, 2,500 horsepower each. And oh 5,000 horsepower gets yep. us to a top speed of 17 knots. So around 20 miles an hour. And how big of a fuel tank is there on board? I think the fuel capacity on board is something like 250,000 liters. 250,000 yeah, liters. quarter of a million liters. And that will do you for? 6,500 miles. Okay. Oh yes. An nautical mile. Yeah, you're fine to go to the shops and back. It's Just not about. a problem. Yeah. yeah. Uh, awesome. Okay. And then there's another room there. That we can come up on, I can show you, yeah? is the generator room. So oh, okay. At the moment, we are plugged into shore power. So okay. basically a big lead that goes 
to the dock and that's what this unit is here. This is a new one we bought two years ago. It was a snipper, half a million dollars. That's half a million. That this is an 812 GTS, right there. <laughs> oh, 812 GTS. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. So we come in here and these are three cat generators. So when we are docking, we have stern thrusters, so a prop underneath the stern, not the normal ones, an extra one, and on the bow that you can move the boat from side to side. That alone, it takes up one of these generators. That's gone. I think these are about, the two bigger ones, about 350 brake. So uh, no that problem. alone is used. No problem. If we but took all this equipment and stuck it into a car. <laughs> it'd be pretty slow, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, probably, yeah. Um, wow. But the boat is constantly using power all the time, so for things like lighting. Yeah, so much power. Air conditioning, the laundry uses a huge amount. Yeah. Uh, the, the galley, so the, where the kitchen is. Yeah, because we still haven't seen any of the crew. Would you like to do some of that? Yeah, let's do a quick quick okay, tour to the crew. Yeah, yeah. Let's okay, see the behind the scenes. Okay, so here we're back to the corridor after the engine room, which I'm not sure if you can see. There you go. And then, okay, so down here... We can go now to the tank deck. This is, this is amazing. The fifth and final floor. So there's another floor. <laughs> So now we're in the crew area. You can see how the furniture is a bit different. Yeah. We have our laundry in here. So we have a full-time laundryman on board. Okay. And so you see all the machines running. So it's like proper oh, yeah. professional yeah. professional deal. So okay. Yeah, so because I imagine when you've got 20 crew, 24 crew and let's say 12 guests on board, you've got a lot of laundry. So to as get crew to. members, we hand our laundry in the morning and then we find it outside our door, all ironed awesome. and clean and ready to go. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, so it's a bit thinner here at the corridor. You can a bit narrow, yeah. Bit so narrow. we have our, this is our crew chef, Paco. What's up, Pat? Hello, how are you? Hello, hi, and pleasure. This is hi. where we cook uh, you can the show in here. food for the crew members. Okay, awesome. And then all sorts of different cabins. Okay. This is our, this is the uniform store. Okay. This is our cleaning store. And then we have toiletry store. This wow. is the, the, I'll show you the fridge and freezer. This is quite cool. Fridge, fridge and freezer room. Oh my God. That's the walk-in fridge. This is a fridge, guys. Oh yeah, definitely. It's quite, it's quite nice actually <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to cool down a bit. Wow. Well, if you really okay. want to cool down, then uh, I recommend the freezer. Oh! Which is absolutely shock a box. Oh. Ready for our Lancy crossing. Okay, yep. So if I ever do a run and I'm sweating too much, I just come and You just come in there. <laughs> and it's great. Awesome. And then through here, we actually have a very critical part of the boat, which is a waste management room. Okay, so this is the bins, basically. Yeah, the bins. And we, it's another fridge, and that's where we keep all okay. of our garbage. Okay, we yeah, can yeah. Keep our, lower temperature, then it doesn't spoil so quickly. Yeah. And then we have compactors, crushers, glass crushers, all sorts of stuff, so. This is, this is just, an, you don't think of how much goes into it. No, oh yeah, you got enough. a. This is dry storage in here, chef dry storage. There's enough food uh, to. Leather ham hanging up. Oh, yep. As you do, <laughs> naturally. Naturally. There's enough to, to feed all of Monaco here. Yeah. Is so this the dumb waiter? That is the dumb way. That's one of the dumb ways. Okay. And we have four. Yep. This is through gym down here. And oh yes. Some storage for crew members as well, which is nice. And we keep all suitcases down below. And that's a bow thrust room there forward. And we have okay. lots of emergency escape patches for fires yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, flooding. So we we come out now. I think this is a place to end the tour. What's this for? This is for a very old-fashioned way of signalling other boats in emergency, but okay. don't get used very often. Very cool. Well. Thank you so much My pleasure. for touring, My pleasure. for letting us tour the, this beautiful boat. 
Laurel. I hope you liked it. Is it available for sale, Charter? It is available for sale and Charter, actually. Well, you never know. <laughs> if ever you are interested, imagine that. Imagine a YouTube video leads to the future owner of this boat. You never know. I'll take my cut anytime. Okay? Yeah, so will I. <laughs> so will I. Awesome, guys. Very different to what we usually do. Uh, Josh, thank you also for the support with the channel. Josh has been watching these, these videos on the YouTube channel for a while, so it's always cool to, to meet someone who watches the videos and saw something completely brand new. And I'm going to have to recalibrate my brain after this video. Thank you. See you guys very soon. Bye. Cheers. Bye-bye.